Factsverse presents… This woman's brain tumor symptoms were dismissed as headaches. Becky was a 19-year-old student from the UK, and for several months she had been dealing with crippling headaches. They were so terrible that they were interfering with her daily life. The pain was so bad that she couldn't go to school, she couldn't go to work, she could barely keep food down. The pain was so horrible she went to the doctor 15 times to try and get a diagnosis so that her pain could be treated. Each time she was sent to the doctor, she was told that she was just suffering from headaches. Becky's headaches started in November 2017. At the time, she was taking medication for a medical condition and she thought that her headaches were maybe a side effect of that medicine. When she was done taking the medicine in March 2018, her pain didn't go away. In fact, it got worse. She was trying to get settled into her new job, but the headaches were making it difficult to do so. As the months went on, the pain became more and more intense. According to Becky, the headaches didn't come on suddenly, they didn't just hit her. She would wake up with a headache, and she would go to sleep with a headache. It never went away. The only time she was not in pain was when she was actually asleep. When she went to the doctor, they told her that she was suffering from stress or tension headaches. Unfortunately, none of her headache patterns fit that diagnosis. Becky's pain started in her forehead, and it wasn't long before she felt pain in her entire head. By the fall of 2018, her pain was accompanied by fatigue, vomiting, and nausea. It was so bad that she couldn't hold down even tap water. The only way that she could hold water down was for it to be boiled or bottled. One morning, she woke up with an awful headache. She couldn't hold any food or drinks down for two or three days before she started to feel normal again. But soon, the pattern would start all over again. It wasn't long before Becky was experiencing new symptoms. She started hearing a strange whooshing sound in her right ear. When that happened, she felt intense pressure in her head. When she went to the doctor again to complain about this new symptom, she was told again that it was due to stress. Becky refused to believe the doctor this time. She knew her body, she felt like her brain was trying to reach out to tell her something. When Becky's pain was at its worst, she would experience double vision. Because her headaches were causing vision problems, she went to see an optometrist. And finally, a medical professional was acknowledging that her headaches were not stress-related. The optometrist noticed that her optic nerve was swollen. They ordered a CT scan and found a lesion on the frontal lobe of her brain. She had a brain tumor. The doctors performed a biopsy and found out that she had a cancerous tumor on her brain called a gemistocytic astrocytoma. As horrifying as the diagnosis was, she finally had some answers. The woman's brain tumor symptoms were dismissed as headaches until this time. Becky had the tumor removed, however, in early 2019 her scans showed the tumor had started to grow back. In February 2019, she had the tumor removed again. She's currently going through chemotherapy and radiation. Becky says that being diagnosed with a brain tumor and undergoing treatment once that was bad, going through it a second time was awful. Becky took to social media to post her story. In the post, she wrote that being ignored by her doctors was terrible. She said she had plenty of factors working against her, so the doctors easily wrote her off. She was young and healthy, so they didn't think much about her headaches. They also blamed her birth control pills because headaches could be a side effect. She says the fact that her doctors didn't have the common sense to just run some tests was horrific. Becky is using her situation to raise awareness for organizations including the Brain Tumor Charity and HeadSmart. She hopes her story will help other young people in her situation fight for the medical care that she needs. Becky's advice for young women and men is that they should never accept their doctor's diagnosis if they think that the diagnosis is wrong. Nobody knows your body the way that you do, and if something doesn't seem right, keep seeing other doctors until you find one that's willing to run the necessary tests. Becky says that if she had accepted every doctor's diagnosis, the cancer could have spread throughout her entire body, and she wouldn't be here to tell her story. Subscribe for more.